Welcome to Sarah Scoop's 51 Scoop series. Our guest today is Real Housewives of Dallas reality star Leanne Locken. Leanne, are you ready to answer 51 questions and give us the inside scoop? Yes. If you could share a scoop of ice cream with anyone, who would it be? Brad Pitt. <laughs> what made you want to be a part of the Real Housewives of Dallas? I didn't know we were going to be a Real Housewives, so I joined because I thought we were. I was going to be able to promote local charities, and um, and I'm still trying to do that. Best part about being on reality TV? Oh, the massive amounts of hate that you get on social media. It's the best. Worst part about being on reality TV? The massive amounts of wonderful love from people who are genuinely like get you and appreciate you and are kind. Uh, that's the, that to me, I love, I love that. And I always try to comment back to those people. The haters, they get something like this. Mute. <laughs> How has your everyday life changed after being on the show? I have zero time to pee, to grocery shop, to pet my dogs, to get dressed. I'm pretty sure I still have pajama bottoms on right now. Besides yourself, who's your favorite housewife? That's a tough one because I love a lot. I absolutely freaking love Erica Jane, AKA meaning I really would like to just like be her for first, like two nights. Um, but I also, I, I love so many of them for different reasons. Like I love Bethany because she shows the world that it's okay to be a ballsy bitch and not care. And I really want to, there's people that I aspire to be more like, and there are people that I'm like, what up? Best thing to happen to you this year. I can't share yet. Um, give me seven, give me two more episodes. Current obsession. <gasps> My Lip Stain by Kat Von D. What's it like living in Dallas? Awesome, great community, wonderful people. You go out every night. There's always something to do. If, you, if you're depressed and feel alone in Dallas, you need to get off your sofa. Show you are binge watching these days. <sighs> um... Well, I'm waiting for The Exorcist to come back on. I only watch it. I have a friend that I watch it with, and I told her, we are only watching that shit during the daytime. I'm not watching that at night. But I also, I DVR everything because I have zero time. So I binge watch almost everything. Um, you know, I think my favorite shows really kind of aren't on right now. I... I, I have had zero time. Listen, remember I told you I'm wearing my pajama bottoms? Go to drink. Ooh. Vodka cranberry if I'm out, but if I'm home, Jose Cuervo makes this skinny margarita in a bottle. You just pour it over ice and stick some straw in it. And I am like, thank you, Jose Cuervo. What is your charity work? What is it or what isn't it? Because what is it is a lot. Um, I support almost, I mean, there's just so much. There's so much. I, my, my main focus for charity is my LGBT community, um, animals, uh, cause they can't speak for themselves, um, child abuse and domestic violence. So those are my four, I try to never say no to them. But of course, like right now, we're still doing a ton of work for Houston. And um, the city is still under so much water. And they, they truly, I'm so grateful to all of the people who have raised funds for my hometown. Because it's sad to see it. I've never, I've, I'm 50 plus years old and... I've never seen Houston in such a bad shape and it's heartbreaking to people who, you know, have lived there. It's just heartbreaking because I know how much people down there are struggling and are without and 
are going to probably be without for a really long time. And I think that's the thing that people don't realize. You donate and then you go back to your life. But it could be next year before most of these people get back to their lives. And that's just freaking heartbreaking. So. Do you prefer cupcakes or cake? Cupcakes, girl. Put them in your mouth. The whole thing. One bite. What's your favorite holiday? It used to be Christmas when my grandmother was alive because it was the one time that we would all get together and just really spend a lot of time together. Um... I guess Rich's birthday. I mean, I love to I love to try and find something that's going to surprise him and blow him away. I love July Fourth because I love our independence, um, and I love New Year's because it's like a you know you get to start over. <laughs> so many times I want to do that. <laughs> what projects are you currently working on? Oh my God. Um, so right now I'm working on this weekend is the ultimate women's expo in DFW. I'll be giving a keynote speech about, um, women and how to stay empowered and how to handle life and how to just kind of be real with life. And, um, I'll be doing a Q and a with Mario Lopez. That's all on Sunday. Next weekend is Dallas pride which is um, a huge event. And then I've got the fat Jews coming into town next weekend. So I got a little party set with him. Notice I keep referring to my calendar, which is on the wall. Um, so much. You sound so super much. busy. I, you have no idea. No tie kickoff is next week, which is um, an aid services Dallas uh, gala. So it's their kickoff party for their event. I've got disco at the Galleria. So I'm like, gotta come up with a disco outfit fast. And I'm not talking about my, my party city disco outfit. I gotta have a good disco outfit. What's your biggest fear? Ending up alone and, um, being homeless and growing old by myself. What's your most embarrassing moment? Well, geez, you'd think it was that I pooped in a basket, but no, it's not. Um, there was a moment when I was a kid when the entire neighborhood, it was just one of those magical nights where all the kids had gotten together and sat in a circle. And so we were all getting along older, younger. It was just like this perfect night of camaraderie. And then Tinkerbell, my best friend's dog, was like going around the outside of the circle and just like circling us. And I kind of thought, how cute. He wants to be a part of it too. But no, instead he stopped directly behind me, lifted his leg and dumped about a head gallon of urine all over me. Then everybody was laughing at me and I ran home. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. What's the best gift you've ever received? Uh, you'll get to see it in two weeks. Best gift you've ever given. I love to give gifts that are not boring. Um, I don't do anything boring. I think you know that. I love to give really unique gifts. I would hope that the best gift that I've ever given is my heart to my friends and time and loyalty. Because that's you can't buy loyalty and love and trust. Do you have any hidden talents? Hidden? No, I think I put pretty much everything I do out there. <laughs> uh, oh, I can make my big fat toes, my, my big toes go like this, like straight up. I would show you, but again, I have pajama pants on. Best place you've ever traveled. Wow, I've traveled some amazing places. Um, I, you know, I've, I've traveled some really great places. I don't think I have a favorite. I think there are places that I still haven't gone that I would still love to go. Um, that more so than favorite places to travel. I honestly am a homebody. I know people are like, eh, what? But there's nothing like being home with my dogs. When I'm away from my dogs, I freaking am a loser. I miss them. Language Ter you want to learn. What, what? Language you want to learn. Well, let's see. I speak a little Greek, a little Korean. 
Yiddish. I would love to learn. I speak some Spanish. I would love to learn French. I do not speak French at what, all. What do you never leave home without? My bite guard, because I grind my teeth at night. <laughs> That's how much stress I have. And a good sleeping pill. Anything else, I can just drink and make it better. <laughs> Worst fashion trend you're guilty of? I don't know. I am not very trendy. I mean, I was late. To, I'm late to almost every fashion trend. Um... I no clue. You know, that's why I have, that's why I have a stylist. Thank God for Jeanette Chivas. Cause honestly, I'm like a ping pong ball in a ping pong machine when it comes to fashion. I'm like, what? That is what? okay. Who's your style icon? <laughs> Victoria Beckham, but I love Tom Ford. I mean. Driver or DJ? Wait, what's, what do you mean driver or DJ? Would you rather be that? the one driving or the one DJing in the car? Oh, I always drive. Yeah, no, no one else can be in control of my death. That's going to be on me. Biggest pet peeve? Fake. Best way to start the day? With inspiration. I do it every morning on Facebook with inspiration by Liam Mocken. I love it. It, it. People come and talk to me and they say positive shit. I say positive back. It's awesome. What's your favorite app? Wow. Um, probably get my map because I'm not even going to kid you. I think it's funny when it can't pronounce shit, but I would <laughs> never make it anywhere without my, my assisted phone saying, turn right. Thank you. Who inspires you the most? Um, that's a tough one. I think I get inspiration from everywhere because I truly love diversity. So I'm always inspired by different people for different reasons at different times. Um, I don't want to have just, I don't want to be just one way. Like I said last week, I don't want to just be one facet. I'm, I want to be my diamond. I want to sparkle and turn and spin and twist and bounce and glitter and clean. Who's your celebrity crush? Tom Ford, if he'd let me, but you know, he plays for the other. Have you seen his naked pictures? Oh my God. What's a perfect Friday night look like for you? Alcohol. <laughs> what is one beauty product you always wear? Sunscreen. Every day. What is your favorite sport? Did you see that? <laughs> um, That's okay. Beach or mountains? Beach. All-time favorite movie? What's the one where the uh, the chocolate factor Willy Wonka? Willy Wonka. Best beauty tip. Wash your face every night. No matter how poopy faced you are. Hold on to the counter, lean into it, wash your face. Favorite song of the moment. Probably something by Bruno Mars. 24 karat. What was your first job? Being a carny, working on the carnival at the duck pond. Two and a half, three years old. If you could be remembered for anything, what would it be? Helping people. Who's your spirit animal? God, that's a tough one. Right now it's a toss between Kelly Dodd, because she's like, I think we're in the same place. You know, as far as what we're trying to accomplish. And um, I would say it's a toss between Kelly Dodd and Dorinda Medley. Because I just think Dorinda's hilarious. It was a good edit, that wasn't it? What was the last book you read? Um, My own. I quote it every day. 
my own. This one, and um, and I also read. Um, I just finished reading Andy's book, Superficial. If your life was a song, what would the title be? Oh, happy day. What's a secret you haven't told many people? I have massive insecurity. What's your favorite food? Mexican queso, if you want to be specific. What's one thing you cannot live without? Love. If you want something material, um, a good bra. <laughs> Juiciest housewives behind the scene moment we never saw. Well, you never saw me threaten to kill Marie. That was pretty fucking juicy. <laughs> where do you see yourself in 10 years? Happier than where I am now and continuing to grow to be a better person and to help the world more. What is your favorite quote? Acts 2.25 from the Bible, I have pitched my tent in the land of hope because I wake up every day hopeful that it'll be a better day, that I'll do better, be better, and live better. What is one thing you want to say to your followers? I love you. Thank you. You are the reason I do the show. You are the reason that I get on social media and try my best to answer you. Um, you're the reason that I take the torture from those other crazy ass, you know what's, um, because y'all make my day bright and happy and wonderful. And I can't, I will never be able to say thank you for that. And finally, question number 51. Can you give us your best scoop of advice? Don't wait. If there's something you really want to do, take a step every day in that direction. People's biggest failure is their plan because that's all they do is plan. Take action. Put your face your fear, take action because the truth is fear is nothing more than just a brick wall that you have to dismantle, climb on the other side and re remantle again. So just do it. Awesome. Thank oh you my so gosh, I don't like Nike. Just do it. Thanks, Leanne. Thank you guys.